like you know when a real housewife they're mm. like I'm I'm a singer and you're like what <laughs> and they have a song that's like fashion legs working in the world <laughs> I feel like I could write one of those songs like gold I'd, because we're good yeah. as gold we're good yes. as gold <laughs> Hi, my name's Lydia West. And I'm Nicola Coughlin, and we're here playing Knowing Me, Knowing You with LUK. Me! When <laughs> Drag Race was coming to the UK, I just annoyed them so much for two years that they eventually just like had to let me on it because I think they were just like, she's not going to leave us alone. It's a really intense experience because the first time you see RuPaul is when RuPaul comes out on stage in full drag. It's very <gasps> overwhelming. Do you have a favourite? I don't. I really love Jinx Monsoon. Mm. Jinx Monsoon is just so talented and also like I'm very into like old school camp and that's mm. very Jinx and they can sing and they do like Judy and Liza and little Edie and that's right in my mm. house. I love that. I love Bimini because love I know Bimini. them and they're so yeah. kind and so sweet kind. and talented. When Bimini didn't win Drag Race, Camilla Whitehill who created Big Mood um, threw a knife across the room and that's not even a joke. It was a bread, like it was a, it was like a butter knife, but it was still like, she just threw it across the room. I mean, I think as I filmed it for eight months and came straight onto this, I was really like relieved not to be wearing the corsets and stuff. That's something I didn't miss. I think the people, I mean, Luke Newton's just like a sweetheart. Lydia knows him mm, as well and he's just like a kind, sweet. good soul, but I had good fortune in going from one job straight to the other with two very kind people at them. But I had on a boat job, so I was very, very lucky. Because like mm. I don't know how people do. I know that like it happens, obviously, that your co-star, if you're leading something, may not be a good person. But mm. I, could, I don't think I could have done it. No, I think when you're talking about been. such, especially with big mood, it's so sensitive. Yeah. It's so hard to, yeah, it just needs so much. And it was made with so much love too by yeah. Camilla. So we just it needed that, and I like to think we brought that to it yeah. with each other and, and it our makes friendship. It's easier when you actually get on. And yeah. Force it because then it takes a lot of the stress out of the mm -hmm. equation when it's just there. Exactly. It. Yeah. That was Sally Phillips. She's <laughs> Maggie's psychiatrist. Of course. She's like the biggest legend. She's so, she's so, so good. Funny. So good. And it was also quite hard to film with her because Maggie's meant to be very depressed in the scenes with her. But Sally Phillips is so funny and it was such a joy to act <laughs> against her. But I was like, hello, my reverse. And she just like, there's a thing called the stability triangle, but she would Let's call triangulate. it tri she would call it triangle. <laughs> triangle. She's so brilliant. I love Sally Phillips. And then what was the end the line where she's like, stay triangulated? She's like, I'll be watching you in the triangle like that. Oh, I'm so gonna love her. <laughs> I haven't ever seen Bridget Jones. You've never seen it? No. I don't remember like I think the original one that I have no idea was such as Bridget Jones's diary, isn't that what the first one's called? Camilla, our creator, also always says I never had a childhood because I haven't seen so many films. Like, like I hadn't seen Love Actually before we stuck. We, we I think I did know that. Working on Big Moon. <laughs> have you seen it now? Yeah, I have seen it now. Yeah, it but I, ha I watched it like, in no. prep for Big Mood. Because there's an episode <laughs> in which um, Eddie, Eddie's character, surprises my character to a Love Actually birthday party. And if you had never seen Love Actually, you would just been you would have felt like you were on an acid trip for the whole thing. And Laura Linney, I'm playing, I'm playing Laura, Laura Linney. Linney. And I'm playing and Laura Linney's brother who has a mental illness. <laughs> I looked, I looked so beautiful in that episode. People were like, "Wow, <laughs> wow, Gigi Hadid, what are you doing here?" And I was like, "No, it's just me, guys." Is it you? Yeah. What? <laughs> I want to see you tap dance. <laughs> Oh god, no. Do you do it? <laughs> no. You would have been the cutest tap dancer in the world. Oh, I did love it. I did love it. Aww. Yeah. But then when you watch like it. from age six. But then when you watch like the Love Island talent show and they're like tapping and you're just like, that is so <laughs> cringe. So I just kind of I have a bit of a love-hate relationship with tap. I used to think I'd be a Montessori teacher, but then I realised that, like, because I find toddlers just, like, hilarious, but then, like, they pee everywhere, and, <laughs> and they're just, like, exhausting, and I could actually not even do that. And then I said to someone recently that maybe I'd be, like, you know when a real housewife, they're mm. like, I'm, I'm a singer, and you're like, what? <laughs> and they have a song that's like, fashion, legs, working in the world. I feel like I could write one of those songs, like, Gold, I'd, because we're good yeah. as gold. Yeah, I could do because that. Because we're good yes. as gold. <laughs> so, and we could be together, we can be like Pepsi and Shirley. I'd love that. Yeah, I found out like by accident that I could do a good Britney Spears impression. Do it. Oh, 
That's a lot. Now I've said it. I hate myself. <laughs> So we were at um, a birthday party, it was at Lucky Voice. Uh huh. And I started doing. Oh, baby, baby, how was I supposed to know? And I was like, I'm, I'm so incredible at this. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, what are you doing? I was like, I don't know. And I sang the whole song, and then it was a bit awkward, but like, I had to. Go that is in. amazing. Like, that is so good. I don't have any unusual talents. I bet you do. Oh, I'm in tap dancing. <laughs> I really want you to come to my house and tap us. Not just for me, like it's, it's not gonna be weird, but like maybe at a party or something. Maybe I'll have a talent show at dinner party. I'd love that. Oh! That would actually be very you. Do you have an outfit? Uh, no, a I tap out. I just told you about it. <laughs> Why haven't you planned your outfit for my tap dancing dinner party, Lydia? Uh, Bruce. Bruce Negger. No, but. <laughs> She's got it. I think this is a general knowledge question, actually. I'm also terrible at pub quizzes. <laughs> <laughs> Lawrence Olivier! <laughs> oh, oh. Who? Kate Fleetwood. Oh, she's... Oh, well done. Kate Fleetwood is a legend. She's such a nice lady. I worked with her years ago uh, on a show called Harlots, and I was really green and was terrified on set. There's a lot of, like, really impressive, amazing actors on it. And she just like came in to the trailer when I was getting my makeup done. I was like, "Welcome here, you know, if you need anything." Mm. And I think people like that you just never forget. Yeah. It's so nice to work with her again. And She's they, so generous and so really kind. kind. Yeah, very kind. I was like, something came into my head that I so don't mean. Because <laughs> like, you were like dead people. I was like Eva Peron. Because <laughs> Eva Peron, when she died, they like tried to embalm her body and like. Keep it and like that didn't work for well. And then I got kidnapped and like they cut her finger off and stuff. But I would not have Eva Peron's dead body at the dinner. That just mm. that was an intrusive thought. It had to come out or else it was gonna and it's gone. Or I was gonna sit here like this thinking about it. So you have you answer it. I I'm would have you. alive people because I can't think of any dead people right now. No, <laughs> they, no, would be, they would be Nicola, you, thanks, Camilla, our writer, and Rebecca Asher, our director, because uh, then we could talk about season two of Big Mood. Well, I'm already going to that. I'm already going to that dinner, so I don't need to invite you to mine. Do you know what I mean? True. Yes. Yeah, so like so that, we'll have that dinner. We'll have that dinner. I'd invite Liza Minnelli. I'd invite Sonia Morgan, the Alexis of New York. I like Barack Obama because he'd just be like, "Why am I here?" And I'd be like, it's "For dinner." And I think he'd bring like really nice wine. Oh, he would. Do they you know? all, they all would. I feel. Would Liza? <laughs> she just can bring her presence. Yeah. Yeah. Our director Rebecca Asher worked with her in Arrested Development, and did she? Did you not know that? No. Yeah, I I tried to not ask her for ages to try and be cool, and I was like, what was she like? <laughs> what did she say? She's like, she said she was like Liza Minnelli, and I was like, that's perfect. Of course. Answer. Yeah. Okay. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you soon.